Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new stamp set and dies from the holiday mini catalog. The one I wanted to show you is a Christmas one. This is Poinsettia Petals. I, when I first saw this stamp set in the catalog, I loved it. I think it's so beautiful and you can do so many things with it. So I was really excited. And then I saw the dies as well and I was just as excited because I saw that we have a flower builder die, which I was very excited about. I love poinsettias and I think it kind of screams Christmas. So it made me really happy. So I just really wanted to quickly show you how to run these dies um, for the poinsettia through the stamp and cut and emboss machine and how to build that flower so that you can put it on your projects and it will be so cute. So let me grab um, a piece of paper here. I have this real red piece of paper that is going to be big enough for my dies to run through the poinsettia petals. So, and then we're going to take these dies. So we're going to take this big one, medium and small one, and then the, the, this little piece that goes inside as well that embosses the little detail on those petals. So I'm going to grab those out and I'm just going to lay them on my red piece, just like that. Okay. And then this piece, it's a little bit tricky to fit it in there. Once you get it, it fits just perfectly snug, just like that. But trying to find which one goes where is a little bit trickier. Oh, just like that. Okay. And then this one, let's see, there we go. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that this is centered on your um, die before you run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Just like that. Now I've previously done this. So let me grab my petals here and this is what they come out like. So cute. And you can see this cute detail that you've done on those petals with those dies that kind of fit snug in between just gives it such a cute little look there. Okay, so next I'm gonna take a bone folder. I'm just gonna curl these petals so that they have a little bit more life to them so they're not so stiff and straight. And I'm gonna do that on each one of my sizes here, just like that, okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna start with my smallest and I'm gonna use glue dots and I'm just going to put one glue dot in the center on the back and then I'm going to just lay that right in the center of the middle one. And I want to put the petals kind of in between the next size up. I hope that makes sense how I said that. So right in between the two petals of the medium one. And then I'm gonna take on the back of the medium one, I'm gonna take two more glue dots like that and I'm gonna lay that just the same way right on top of the large one with the petals sent with the medium pen petal centered in between the two large ones just like that so that's kind of what you'll end with okay and then I'm going to take one of these beaded pearls this is also in the holiday mini catalog part of as part of that poinsettia place suite. These are so pretty and I'm just going to put that right in the center of my poinsettia. Just like that. So pretty and that is just ready to go on a project. So let me show you some of the cards we've made using this poinsettia place suite of products. Here is that flower and I just stuck it on some of our paper. This is the plush poinsettia specialty paper back here. Love that. And then here, this is our poinsettia place designer series paper here. And I love that it has the red and the green in it for traditional Christmas, but it also has this white flower 
as well. I think it's so pretty. Okay, here's another one. Now this one I did, I made it into a gift card holder. So this comes down and you can put a little gift card right in here. So cute. And then here's our last one. Now on this flower, instead of using the die in between, like I did um, on the flower that I showed you, I stamped it. So you can see, you can do the stamped image. Um, those stamps fit, are just in the poinsettia petals um, stamp set, and they fit just perfectly with that die. Or you can do the kind of embossed image that comes with the die set. So both are so pretty. I've had so much fun playing with the Poinsettia Play suite of products, and I'm so excited for Christmas to get started, for the Christmas season to be here. I can't wait. If this is something that you're interested in purchasing, make sure you visit our website at stampandjill.com, and you can find a link there. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.